Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam, otherwise known as Snarex from TikTok. Happy 2022. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's. I hope you had a safe and healthy New Year's. Before we jump into it, I do just want to preface this by saying that if you haven't watched me on TikTok or if you haven't seen my Amberjack or Lily John compilation, you probably won't have any idea of what I'm referring to in this video. So for anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, I have a series on TikTok that is a continuous um, storyline that I suddenly abruptly did not finish. In this video, I really wanted to address what exactly happened with that and why I have not continued and what will happen with that in the future. Make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel here so you can see all my other videos. I do put out longer videos than just my shorts. I had someone comment on a YouTube short of mine saying that they wished I put out longer videos and I do and here they are. So <laughs> also make sure you are following me on all my other social medias which are linked below. Okay, so first things first, I just want to deeply apologize once again for leaving you hanging and not having any sort of real legitimate explanation as to what exactly happened to my story line here. And like I said, I am going to explain what will happen in the future. I will have answers for you in this video. I promise I'm not going to leave you hanging any, any longer. I know a lot of people were really invested in it and were able to personally relate to it or just had something that they could rely on that was funny that could get them through the day. And I just kind of took that away. So I apologize for not at least having a better explanation. Um, I do want to address what happened, why I stopped, what exactly went wrong there. And if you saw some of my TikTok videos, this might be kind of repetitive, but I just maybe want to elaborate a little bit more. So in putting out my Amberjack and Lily John videos, of course, it was a storyline. It was consistent. So one of the problems with TikTok is that it's it's very unorganized in the way it shows you videos. So somebody that just started following me might start getting random videos out of order. And it's hard for people to kind of keep up what exactly happened. I would get people, you know, they missed a a video and how they can watch the last video. Fortunately, TikTok did kind of solve this problem a little bit by putting up the little tabs where you can categorize your videos. So I was kind of able to do it that way, although I did see people still having problems figuring it out. I don't really know. So there was kind of that issue that I was running into that I felt like it was hard for people to watch it in chronological order. Hence why I was starting to put the videos on YouTube here in longer formats, just in big compilations so people could watch them in the right order to the best of my ability. Also, I apologize if I sound tired. I am. It's New Year's Day and I stayed up till midnight and I'm an old woman and I'm not used to it. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So in having that issue with the chronological order, I felt like I was just kind of getting frustrated that people were also getting frustrated with how they were getting the videos presented to them, I guess. At one point I was putting out almost exclusively these story videos from this series and people that had subscribed to me long before I started putting this out were like, this isn't what we subscribe for, this isn't what we're here for. So I was kind of going back and forth with wanting to put out what I used to put out or, or new types of stuff and also trying to also appeal to the audience that is now subscribing and now specifically here for these story videos. And the thing that kind of just you know, ended the whole thing completely was just the amount of work that I was putting into these videos. I do this all myself. I know that's not really that big of a deal for a TikTok, but I do have to play all the characters. I have to come up with the storyline. I have to buy all the wigs and the costumes and I have to, you know, I was changing characters. Like if I had five characters in one video, that takes a decent amount of time to film, which I don't mind doing that, but it was the fact that the payoff was not there. So it was a lot harder for me to feel motivated to do this. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy making those videos. It's just become kind of a big mess. And I never was a creator that just put out one type of video. I kind of stuck to like a category or a type of topic or something, but I enjoy just making videos. So to be able to put out all different varieties of concepts and ideas is fun for me. And when people are upset that I am not doing the one thing that they signed up for, I guess subscribe for would be would be more accurate for me to only put my time and effort into this series. That's just not going to be the case. I'm never going to be just doing those types of videos. And a lot of people understood this too. A lot of people were really supportive. So I don't want to say like everybody out there was harping on. That's not not the case at all. A lot of people were very supportive. People are still very supportive. In moving forward, my plan would be to bring the series to YouTube, have one video a week, but the video would be like five to seven minutes long. So it'll be a longer video. It would be consistent that you can expect this series. I have the story. I have everything completely written out. I know exactly what I want to do. It's just a matter of making it, kind of just make the whole series a little bit more 
of a thing. And that's my goal for 2022. And I would really love to hear your opinions. I would love to hear what you guys think about that. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. That's where I want to be moving forward. I don't want to end the series. So I definitely want to continue putting work into it. And I hope you guys enjoy what I have planned for the future. Anyway, again, I really appreciate you guys for the support and everything. 2022 hopefully will be significantly better than the last two years. I can only hope. I can't really take any more chaos. So fingers crossed that everything goes well in the future. Let me know what you have chosen for your New Year's resolution. There's a few things I want to learn this year that I didn't learn last year. So I'm going to try and put that together and make some sort of like 2022 checklist and actually try and get things done this year because I feel like 2021 was I don't want to say a relaxed year because there was nothing relaxing about it but just I guess compared to 2020 it, it was chiller <laughs> all right guys I appreciate you for being here and I appreciate your endless support I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you next time bye